are tracking eight wildfires burning across the state of Utah, including the Dollar Ridge Fire. It's destroying everything in its path along the Wasatch Duchesne County line. Nearly 30,000 acres torched at a cost of roughly $2 million. And Governor Gary Herbert today toured the damage of the Dollar Ridge Fire. Evacuees have taken shelter away from their homes and cabins. News for Utah's Andrew Reesa reports from Duchesne County. Governor Herbert today visited evacuees of the Dollar Ridge Fire, which is picking up more ground because of these high winds. For evacuees of the Dollar Ridge Fire, oh, we're just undecided uh, what, what we got to do and where we're going to go next. It's a waiting game. Well, I never have to experience anything like this. Some are staying with friends and family. So we're looking towards a neighbor that was on the other side of the fire line so we could spend the night at their house. Others are camping along Highway 40, watching as these beloved hills burn. We're just camping yeah, out we're just right off camping. the highway. There's not much you can do about the fire. It's going to burn until it burns out probably. But. I'm thankful we have some great neighbors and friends that have helped us. Neighbors that have brought food, water, and other necessities to Duchesne High School, where many evacuees are being housed. Some are staying in tents behind the school to be with their pets. The Red Cross helping them says they're in need of food and supplies, as well as dog crates for displaced animals. Governor Gary Herbert today toured the devastation. Uh, I've been able to see it up close and personal, and uh, it, it's. Uh, I think we're in a, in a good spot, uh, better than I thought when I flew up here. But boy, it can change overnight. In all, the governor estimates 20 to 30 structures damaged or destroyed by this human caused fire, which now has a taxpayer price tag of close to $2 million and climbing. It's just a very sad thing. For Gisela Brereton, who survived World War II in her homeland of Germany, only this disaster compares to that scary time in her childhood as she waits to find out what's become of her home. Everything is still okay, and I hope it stays that way. And if not, we have to go from there. Governor Herbert also warned everyone to stay out of the evacuation zone. If you don't, you could face up to six months in jail and a $1,000 fine. Reporting in Duchesne County, Andrew Reeser, News 4, Utah.